Hi, this is Jim Regan, and I'm talking to you today. I don't like to make many uh, videos on politics. I pretty much stay out of it. But this election is really not about politics as you would think. There's, there is some politics in it, but there's much deeper things going on here. Okay, there's, there's many more issues going on here. And, you know, Trump was elected before because people wanted something new. They, they wanted an outsider of the politics and the, and the stuff. And he has, you know, he has pretty much confronted a lot of stuff. And he's gotten a lot of stuff done. But, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like his personality. They don't like the fact that there's a lot of people tied to these groups that, you know, the the uh, lobbying groups that are giving money to different politicians, they don't like what's going on either because their whole system's getting disrupted. Okay, so he's standing up against corruption and he's standing up a lot of, a lot of different things and he's getting a lot of things done. But a lot of people think that, you know, like from his past, he was corrupt himself. So how can he be doing this? And how can he be, you know, how do he get healed from from a coronavirus in five days. You know, that just, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe he lied that he had the corona. Well, see, a lot of people don't realize that there were millions of people praying for him. And he, felt, he even said it, he felt like Superman. And, you know, when you feel God's presence and his power, you do feel like Superman. Okay, so I believe that a good, that, that the medicine had its effect and that the, uh, uh, the prayers had their effect, and he came out, and and he was amazingly got it well quickly. That's even at 70 years old, and so and here he's running around now doing a bunch of, uh, uh, ra you know, uh, rallies, and uh, we're a couple days out, and I just wanted you to see. You know, no. Let this picture here. I I posted this from somebody. I don't even know who it is, but I liked it so much that I want you to just look at it here. No political names. Are you left or right? What do you stand for? I'm right. What say you? And so, these are the things that uh, Vice President Biden and the Democrats are standing up for. And they've said it over and over again. They've displayed it, showed it. They're pressing it, except you know the Green New Deal and all that stuff. All right, well, let's take a look at what they're for. All right, they're okay with pro-life. All right, and which results in the fetus being killed, and nobody knows when the baby's life starts as far as their personality and spirit. But I believe it starts early. So uh, I believe that the country's in trouble with this uh, as far as God's concerned, okay? Now over here on the right, letting Betty leave, so it's pro-life. Defunding the police, breaking down law and order, supporting police. Getting rid of guns. So think about this. You get rid of your guns and you get rid of the police. Who's going to protect you? Okay. This is supporting gun rights, open borders, let them all come in. We'll pay for all their bills and that'll bankrupt the country for sure. Border control, controlled immigration, illegal immigration, legal, higher taxes, tax breaks. So this, the, the average family got about $6,000 in the IRS. Now I, I actually took a tax course and during last year I was trying to learn about taking taxes and uh, there are different tax cuts that are internal. Some will pay you, will will lower your tax, the total amount of your income that to be taxed. And then there's, after you figure out how much you're taxed, then you've got other cuts that actually lower your tax. And those are like child children cuts where they, you know, they cut a $2,000 credit, a child uh, credit, okay, child tax credit, 2000 a child. Now that had to help a lot of people, All right? So that gave people about an average of six thousand dollars more. 
Uh, it added to their income. And plus, you also had the fact that gas was going down. So you're saving on energy. So though you have a combined effect, okay? Over here, he's definitely promising uh, higher taxes. He said he's going to repeal all the Trump's tax cuts. Well, guess what? Those tax cuts were for the middle class, a lot of them. Yes, he taxed the wealthy too, but he, 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 he gave tax cuts to the middle class, okay? Weak military, strong military, over-regulation, uh, favor of small businesses. Let anyone vote, voter ID, welfare state, working class. You know, when um, uh, Giuliani was up in New York, uh, he, he actually, I was at a, a convention where he had come to, it was for a business convention, and he said that during the time he was at in New York as a as a mayor he 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 said that there was incentives for people to be on welfare in other words the people that were doing accounts for welfare they were given incentives like it's, you'll get a bonus the more people on welfare you get the more higher of a bonus you'll get okay so there was a strong incentive to uh, put people on welfare Here's the working class. Go out and get a job and and do the American dream. Okay? Lockdown state. He said that I'm going to lock down, force everyone to mask. Okay, he said, use your brain, use your mask if you need to, but we're going to open up the economy and work. And it's already rebounding at like 33%. Big government, small government, more control mandates, less control mandates against term limits, favor term limits. That has to do with the Congress. Socialism versus capitalism, liberalism versus conservatism, communism loosened constitution, political correctness versus free speech, riots and violence, law and order. I don't know what the tyrannical government, I don't, I don't know what that other one is, so I couldn't tell you. But free republic versus tyrannical government. So forget about the personality. Forget about, I know that Trump really gets on a lot of people's nerves. I see it. And, and I, did, I personally, myself, didn't like him interrupted Joe Biden during the first speech. I thought he was a little, he was, you know, he was trying to upset the tray and all that but the thing is is that you got to let other people speak so from my end he could have used a little bit more tact and uh, uh not just win 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 okay so i get that but he his mind was to win so i don't you know i didn't i didn't that's the only thing i didn't like was that he didn't allow the other person to speak come the second time he you know due to the muting it came out to be more of a normal debate as to the way it was. And he got his medicine back on the the town hall where the lady started interrupting him left and right. So he got a little bit of his own medicine back. But so if we just forget about the personalities and look at what tr Trump has accomplished. I mean, how many presidents got nominated for four Nobel Peace Prizes in the same year? I don't see any, you know. There's a lot of things that he's gotten accomplished, okay? The thing is, is, you know, we're used to someone doing it slowly but surely kind of thing. He's like, let's go in there and get it done, okay? So, and, and so, uh, just, uh, you know, he went out there and to get it done, right? And he's got, he's brought a lot of jobs back. The economy was soaring before the COVID-19 thing came in. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you this real quick. I know that, you know, a lot of people, they're not going to even care what I have to say. And, uh, and, you know, so... I'll see you soon. Uh, hopefully, just go out and vote common sense. Think about, you know, 
if if Biden gets in, it's possible that he's going to shut everything down. It's possible if you're working, you might not have a job in short order. Okay? I mean, the oil business people, they're, they're not going to have a job soon. And there's going to be a lot of changes that are very... You talk about fast change, there's going to be a lot of things that happen. And quite frankly... Uh, I, I I really I I've, I've lived for a long time. I'm like 66 years old. I've never in my whole life seen anything like this, ever. The, you know, I always had respect for the America that we have, and and all the good things about it. This is the first time that I've ever seen that America has been threatened. You know, don't let the news the news i've looked at all the different news medias and i can see when people are lying slanting making opinions and stuff like that and i'm telling you we're, we're being told stuff in the news media that's just not true why did they not look in they're, they're calling this whole biden laptop thing misinformation who says how they know how can they say, oh, this is Russian disinformation? How do they know? Just because some people say it is? You know, they've got the laptop, and they and you and if you go look on the internet, you'll be able to hear the guy talk about it, who was a business associate of the Bidens, right? He, you know, he he was with them. He was doing this. So if anybody knows anything, he's like a whistleblower, a real one. So, think things through before you act, okay? Don't act out of division or out of hate or out of anger. Think things through about for your family, what you want for your family. What do you want to see happen in the next two years, okay? Because President Trump's saying it's going to get really good. He's going to get really good, and we're going to get through this COVID-19 stuff. So, uh... God bless and have a nice day.